Hey everyone, did you know that you can play 3DS games on an Apple Silicon Mac using an emulator called Citra and it works pretty damn well. So today I'm going to show you how to run games like Pokemon X and Y on an Apple Silicon Mac. I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the Citra emulator, how to actually get it set up on macOS, and how to use your Mac to access the entire 3DS Nintendo library of games. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the citra-mu.org website, which I'll leave a link to in the description, and then we're going to press the download here button. And this is going to take us to the download section. And what we want to do is to download the macOS Universal. If you don't see this button, you can also press manual download here. And then you can see all of the different builds of Citra. So basically you have a choice of the nightly builds or the canary builds, but we're just going to use this one here, the macOS universal build. And once that's downloaded, we're going to go to the finder window here, and then we're going to go to downloads. And within downloads, we have citra-setup-mac.dmg, just double click on this. And then we have this setup installer here. So just double click on here and start this installer process. So if you can't open this, then what you can do is to hold down the control key and then click on the application and then press open and then this is going to allow us to manually open this so press open here and that's going to allow us to go through the Citra setup window so I'm going to press continue and then we're going to allow this to install within the applications folder we have a choice here of downloading the canary or nightly the nightly versions are going to be more reliable they are tested versions of Citra that are known to work so this one is the one from the 10th of January so here I'm going to select Citra nightly and press continue we're going to accept licensing agreement press continue and then we're going to press install so this is going to go ahead and grab the data from the internet just give it a few seconds to download so once that's finished we're going to press done and now we're going to go to the finder window here we're going to go to applications and then we're going to locate citra so it's a folder here double click and then double click on the nightly folder that we just downloaded and now we have citra qt which we're going to double click on now so now citra has opened up it's asking us whether you want to submit data to the developers press yes or no so now we have the citra nightly installed what we can do is double click to add a new folder to the games list so i'm going to add my 3ds rom folder so i'm not going to be able to show you where to download these games from these can be downloaded from jailbroken nintendo 3ds's 3ds is a pretty easy system to jailbreak these days or you can just download them from the internet by searching 3ds rom and then the name of the game so here we're going to double click to add a folder to the game list i'm going to add my folder of dot 3ds files here i'm going to press open and then these are the games which i have in my game folder now we're going to configure controller we're going to go to system settings on apple under bluetooth we're going to make sure we have a controller paired up so this is a playstation 5 dualsense controller each controller is going to be pairing slightly differently on a mac however to put this in the pairing mode we just hold down this button here and then hold down the home button until this starts to flash so you can see the led here has started to flash here and then on the mac side you can see here there is a dualsense wireless controller appearing under nearby devices press the connect button and this is now connected up you can see here that the dualsense led has turned a solid blue light so that means it's all paired up and ready to go and we're just going to go ahead and configure the settings here. So just go to Citra, go to Preferences. Here we're going to press OK to allow Citra to access the microphone and other settings. So under Controls, what I would do here is rebind all of the controls. Here I'm going to press Auto Map. Here it's saying after pressing OK, press any button on the joystick. So I'm going to press that button on my joystick. And then it's automatically mapped all of the keys on the PlayStation 5 controller, all done correctly and automatically. So press OK here to save those settings. Then we also want to change the graphics settings too. So on the graphics you want to set a higher internal resolution. So we want something that resembles 1080p. I'm going to set mine at four times native resolution. It's going to give us 960p which is close enough. Under advanced just make sure we're using the Vulkan graphics API and then that should be enough to get us started. So I'm going to be loading up the game Pokemon X. I'm going to double click on this and then that's going to load up this game. So here I'm going to select my language and then we're going to get running. So here we can full screen and we can see that this window is opened up like this. There are a few ways to configure the screen. What we can do is change the screen layout. We can do side by side. And then a way of doing this is to have a large screen. So my preference is for the large screen because the smaller touch screen here is not necessarily that important. Here I'm going to press start and then we're going to load up the game. So as you can see, the game works great. So we're rendering this at four times native resolution, roughly 1080p resolution, and it looks fantastic. There used to be graphical errors when running this, and there used to be dark splotches on the actual Pokemon characters, but that's all been fixed with the latest versions of Molten VK and all the development work that's happened on Citra. Anyway, there are lots of other 3DS games that you can play through Citra, not just Pokemon X. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.